All right, welcome back to another Mr. Ben art tutorial. Today we're going to be painting a scene from this book, The Other Side, by Jacqueline Woodson. This is a short story book that has wonderful watercolor paintings in it. As you can see here, we're going to be painting the first page. It's a farmhouse with trees and the fence and the garden and the plants and grasses and things like that. As you, as you can see, I've got my large brush and my small skinny brush. I've got my three primary colors and I've also mixed up some green by uh, adding a little blue and yellow. And I've also got my gray and I've got my brown. I made brown by mixing some gray with some red and a little bit of yellow. So we're gonna be mixing. So you please do that now. Mix your green and your brown. And then I'm gonna be, sketch, once you've done that, I'm gonna sketch out very lightly and quickly with pencil. Now with these sketches, it's not about um, perfection, it's just about giving you an idea of where things are going to go once you start painting. So there's my farmhouse with the windows. There's my the porch, front porch. I'm going to be adding a couple of trees. Again, very quick, not filling in any detail, just quickly sketching these out to give us uh, some direction and some focus when we start painting. Here's the fence. And that's it for the sketch. So now I'm gonna start painting. So grab your big brush first. Oh yeah, first, of course, we're gonna wet the page all over. And now quickly before the paint dries, or before the water dries on the page, I'm gonna go into my blue for the sky. Now I'm going in these sort of spirally patterns. I'm not doing straight lines. I want to leave a little bit of white shining through to be clouds in the sky. So don't completely cover your sky with blue, but leave some white spaces for clouds. It's going to look even better once it's dry. So I'm just sort of dotting and scribbling and swirling my brush to create these patterns of blue and white. Okay, clean your brush, dry your brush on your rag or paper towel. And I'm dipping into my green and I'm going to start dotting in some plants, shrubs, grasses, flowers. Just sort of pressing my brush lightly onto the page. I'm not uh, spreading the paint. I'm just dotting it here and there to create the sense of plants and grasses. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for the trees. Okay. 
Now I want my trees to be slightly darker than the grasses. So I'm gonna clean my brush, and dry it off, and dip into my gray. And I'm gonna just a little bit of gray over the green of my trees to darken them up a little bit. Remember, you don't wanna overly mix the paint. You wanna just lightly dab it onto the page here. Let the paint do the work of mixing and combining. This is why we wet the page. The water is gonna help us to create these interesting patterns and combinations of color. Okay, I cleaned my brush and now I'm going into yellow. I'm gonna paint the house yellow. Oh yeah, I forgot to add little lines for the wooden boards of the house. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but just a little more detail and then paint your house yellow. Leave the windows white. We're gonna go back in later and do that in a darker color. And then using that same yellow on my brush, I'm gonna add some yellow flowers, sunflowers to the garden. Just like I did with the green, I'm dabbing on the paper, pressing it here and there, letting it do its thing with the green. And that's it for the big brush. The rest is gonna be filling in details. So I'm gonna to switch to the skinny brush, the long and skinny one. And I'm going into brown. I'm gonna start doing the trunks of my trees. I decided I wanted a few more plants by the fence, but now I'm gonna go, go ahead and fill in those pencil lines that I did for the fence in the same way with the brush with brown. Notice I'm using the thin side of the brush, not the wide side, but the sideways thin side of the brush to get these thin lines for the wooden planks of the fence. If you want, you can darken the fence a little bit with gray. Or you can leave it just brown, it's up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do the windows with gray. And the front porch. The front porch in the book is sort of in shadow, so it's very dark. And then just doing the outlines that I did with my pencil with brown and leaving the spaces in between gray, filling in the sides of the house with the brown. And that's about it. Oh yes, I'm gonna add some brown lines for the stems of the sunflowers. Just a little bit here and there. 
And there's our finished painting.